No, the customer's got to get out of the way today. Uh, so there's a lot of confusion about how to do a battery vent, vent properly vent a uh, lead acid battery bank inside of a house. We like to put them in the garage or the basement, but anywhere you put it, you should be venting it because lead acid batteries make hydrogen gas when they charge or discharge. So the stuff I've got to do it, I got some cord that I'm going to power the vent off of. I've got my battery vent fan, the Zephyr vent. It comes with some instructions. It also comes with the, the fuse that you want to protect it with. Cop gun, drill, binder bit, hole saw. This is my what I'm gonna make, how I'm gonna make my transition out to the exterior. And then uh, that's my that's actually from a shower drain. And I got a little bit of pipe and some PVC glue, and I'm just gonna show you how I do it. We always like to use deck boxes. I do believe that I'm the person who invented the battery box deck box, but you know, some people might try to tell you that somebody else did, but I think it was me. And uh, anyway, I'm gonna put my vent right here and I'm going to wire it off the relay inside the charge controller. That's another thing that's confusing to people sometimes is how do I power this thing? So I'll explain to you how I power the battery vent off the relay and the charge controller. On the PT100 you can power it through the relay using the relay as a switch. You can also do that on the Midnight Classics. Uh, the Radian is a little different, but in pretty much all these systems have relays where you can power the vent fan directly, you do not have to use a second relay like you see a lot of times. The second relay just gets hot and is another failure point. So, I'll show you right over here. There he goes with the hole saw. I mean, Manny looks good doing it, doesn't he? Places in this whole battery venting where you can mess That's up. Get out of oh, no problem. Where's the core at? Oh dang, that's on two by sixes, ain't it? Look how, Ooh, look man! How, look how nice that. Look how. Look, 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 look. We'd have that. been in trouble. Yeah. You'd have hit so. that. that so. That'd have been oh no bueno right there. There's a purlin in there. Purlin. Or whatever you call it. Blocking. Blocking. That's what you call it. Two by sixes. That was that. You know what you call that when you don't hit that? Clean living. Yeah, that's what I just said. There, there it is right there. Once you do this, you can't take this box back. <laughs> right? <laughs> Meanwhile, we're in surgery. So I got the PT100 open now. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to use, if you look down in here where you see the normally open, common, and normally closed, these are those relay terminals. And this relay can basically switch whatever the battery voltage is. Uh, so I'm going, to, I'm going to pull positive battery voltage off of here, go through the fuse on the battery vent fan, directly to the vent fan, positive lead, and then I'm going to pull negative battery voltage off this bus bar, and I'm going to use the relay to switch the negative battery um, uh, power going to the vent fan. And that relay is going to turn the battery vent fan on and off based on the voltage of the battery. I usually set it at about 50 volts. So anytime this battery is above 50 volts, it's going to be positively vented out of the uh, house. It's just a real clean way to vent a battery. This is also the inside of the PT100. It's a beautiful thing. Very beautiful thing. Only thing I don't like about the PT100, I haven't said any complaints about it yet. I'll, I'm, so I'm going to do a complaint. You got to take this cover off in order to take this cover off. That's one thing I don't like. That's one thing I don't like. Certain steps is the sealing your penetrations in your exterior of your house. Tell them about opening a can of foam, Chris. You gonna open a can of foam? Better use it. He don't like to talk southern when he's on the camera. Oh, my own camera? Chris goes all matrix. No, I do go all matrix. Yeah. I saw that because it was on sale. <laughs> Page 106 of the Magnum PT100 manual. It's going to talk to you about how to use the aux relay. So I'm setting up my relay right now. And uh, it's going to run when the battery is above 50 volts. Anytime it's above 50, that relay's going to run it. Going to close it and power this battery fan. Got the vent fan running too. Chris is finishing up. 
Hello. <laughs> Hello there. Negative going into the relay, getting broken, going back out, powering the battery fan. Positive. So we've got our battery vent fan all installed. This is the negative that's getting switched in the auxiliary terminal. This is negative power going back to the battery vent fan and then of course the positive goes right off of the battery positive bus bar gets a uh, break uh, like a little barrel fuse half amp barrel fuse and then that's going straight to the battery vent fan as you can see she's just humming away doing exactly what she's supposed to do I'll take you around and show you the outside And this was one of those, one of the things that took a lot of thought when I first got into this, how to do this right, and we pretty much got a good system going now. So she's running, she's vented, she's good to go. Doesn't get cold enough for us to need to put a bunch of dampers on this kind of stuff. There is a damper in the battery vent fan.